Ethan's, um, I don't know what you call them, the saw thing, and ACDC. <laughs> Who's playing outside? Who's got the radio on? Hello, hello, happy, happy. Um, let's see, what day is it today? Are we on, oh, I'm gonna show you my beautiful flower. We are on Wednesday. Oh, oh my goodness. That's not, a, that's not good. Hold on, I gotta tighten that tripod. Whoever is on and just went upside down, I apologize. I apologize for all of the mess ups today. Um, happy Wednesday. I have to tell you, I am really tired and I was trying to figure out like all day, like why am I so tired today? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know about you, but I find if I fall back to sleep for even 20 minutes, 30 minutes after my alarm goes off, it like wrecks me. I have just like cannot get energy today. And it's one of the things that I really try to do with um, my morning practice is I get up and I turn off the alarm and I, I have the alarm set across from my bed, like across the room, I get up and I usually go downstairs and I just have to keep remembering that I need to get up <laughs> and get out of the bedroom because when I don't, and if I'm cold and if I just wanna snuggle and I just wanna stay in bed and my kitty cat was like wanting to just, like just jump around, if I wanna, um, stay in bed, it wrecks me. So there you go. There's my little lady telling you that I don't know if it's a older lady thing, but I definitely need to get up and get up going. So anyway, I'm super tired. I am going to be going to the beach right after this. So I'm super excited about that and just start walking. But I wanted to talk to you about sometimes, oh my God, can you hear the music? He's, he's blasting the music. I was just telling my husband, I'm like, I always make him his tea. So I like, here's his tea, here's my tea. And I said, I'm gonna go <laughs> live for a little bit. And he goes, why don't you just bring everybody out here and show them all the garden beds I'm making you? So one day maybe, but there's no internet out there. Okay, so besides being tired, I wanna talk about what happens when you're tired is you usually don't wanna do a whole lot. And I realized that I didn't really wanna be creative, but I wanted to work on some of my art today that I will be doing this workshop on Saturday. And so I wanted to just get into like the groove of painting um, with my watercolors and some of my new watercolors and just have a bunch of examples made. So I'm gonna show you what I did this afternoon. I actually really like it, um, but it kind of got me out of my funk. It literally was like a good recipe. So even when you're tired, like I am today, I want you to think about even a little bit of doing some art. And watercolors are great because they're like right here on the desk. You can even use watercolor pencils. I'm gonna show you what I did. And I think it's like just a really good habit. It's the same thing of like not wanting to go walk on the, take a walk or go do exercise. Sometimes it's those things that actually give you back your energy. So not hitting the snooze button, one, two, doing a little art, three, getting my butt in gear and doing a little exercise. So that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get off, off of this call with you guys. All right, so I wanted to just play around with art today. I didn't really have a plan. I just had my paper. I was listening to, I'm taking a couple courses from other uh, you know, teachers or whatever, and we talked about this the other day. Like, I just play. I put on my, I put my laptop up on my um, box here. I'm actually taking this course from Jean Oliver on creating workshops because I'm going to be doing a bunch of workshops. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to listen to her talk. She's so cute too. She's such a good friend of mine. So I love listening to her. So I had her like talking <laughs> and then I was doing my art right on my desktop. So sometimes it can be a different thing. Sometimes it's music. Sometimes it's audiobooks. Sometimes it's podcasts, but maybe you could be playing some of your art classes that you've all joined up for and you're not even doing the art but maybe just the idea of every once in a while you look over and you see what they're doing um you listen to what they're saying might help you with what you're working on okay so i was looking i was working with watercolors and i'm obsessed with the um 
look at this color right now. This is like one of my favorite colors. It has been one of my favorite colors. You can't really see it for a very long time. And I think this is probably the main reason why I bought this $50 set was for this one color. And I love it so much. I am definitely gonna be using this color on Saturday. Um, it is so beautiful and creamy and rich. So this is the Kurataki. <laughs> K-U-R-A-T-A-K-E, I think, something like that. You guys know, because somebody put it in the comments. You all know what it is, because you're awesome. But this color is truly just so creamy. And this is why I love this set, is that you can make it as creamy as you want, and you can make it, um, oh, I hear, I was like reading what Claudia was saying. She's got a lot of storms her way. Um, you can make it as creamy as you want or as light as you want. So I also have a watercolor pencil that is similar to my color. So this is what I made and I'm really liking it. It is um, a lot of details in there. So I'm going to put it up really close so you can see. Do you see all the tiny little, tiny little lines and marks? Um, there's so many. So many, so many, so many, and some darks. And why I love watercolors is just getting all the translucent lines. But you see that green? Look, this is where that green is. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. Um, and then what I will do with, so then I, I took off the pape, the tape, the pape. See what I mean? The pape. <laughs> Hold on. I had to get you the number. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes I should be just like, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, it's number 50, and I'm embarrassed to read it. Okay, you guys ready for me to read it live? Okay, ready? Drum roll, please. Malachite or Malachite or Malachite. M-A-L-A-C-H-I-T-E. Don't laugh. There you go. Love the pop of yellow. I know, I know, I know. That yellow, okay, so here's the thing, Jill. It's funny you mentioned yellow because you know me and I'm not a big yellow fan. But when I look at this painting, I don't see yellow. Thank you, Jill. How embarrassing, how embarrassed am I now? Malachite. <laughs> you guys, you guys love me. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, please don't get mad at me for not knowing how to pronounce. Blame my parents. Okay, this is the yellow that I don't always love to paint with with acrylics. The yellow I'm using here is unbelievable and it's not yellow. And yes, I can pronounce this one. It's called natural beige. So to me, this is more of a neutral color. So when I'm painting in acrylics or watercolors, I have been finding that one of the ways that I can kind of bring down some of the brightness is to neutralize some areas. And so this color really did a great job neutralizing it. And sometimes too, when you're working with watercolors, like things are gonna happen on their own. That's why I'm so excited for the workshop because when we're working together, <laughs> things are gonna happen that we cannot control. You can do a little bit, you can pull up some of the, um, the color with some paper towels. Um, but sometimes what happens is when two colors blend together that you weren't expecting to blend together, they can neutralize too. And then some beautiful things can happen on your piece of art. I am a, I'm a big fan of bright colors. That's why I love the Nova paints. Hold on, I need to sip on my tea. That's going to get me going. I'm a big, I love bright, bright, bright colors. So when I work with my um, watercolors, I am using some things like Dr. Martin's inks. And you don't have to have the inks to play around either. It's just that something like you might wanna, look at that color, it's like gorgeous. You may wanna have some inks on hand. Or um, you can even take some of your acrylic inks and add a whole bunch of water to them and have a little wash or whatever. It's all about having fun. So I just did this one a few minutes ago. I think I'll post about it. I had a really good time. I love using watercolor pencils and regular pencils. So I'll be using a lot of watercolor pencils when I'm painting. Oh, okay, I just dropped them. 
And I think I might have to go to the art store. And I'm super excited. A Michael's just opened up in Santa Cruz. So that's awesome. We've only ever had one store. Well, two stores, but one is kind of downtown and it's kind of a pain to get to where I am. Um, but I need to get some more of these Signo Ball pens. And I love using the Signo Ball pen on the watercolors. So anyway, I hope you guys can join me. It's on Saturday and the replay will be available. Um, the other color that I'm loving out of this set, I'm just looking over here now and I can show it to you guys, is this Horizon Blue. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at my nails are so dirty. I was doing art. Okay, so I wanted to show you this other thing because it's really big and it's really beautiful. And I can't remember if I showed it to you last. <laughs> Saturday, can we make one large like yours oh yeah jill we're going to i'm gonna i'm going to do hi suzanne uh, um thank you rachel yes i am terrible at pronouncing it i'm going to recommend that everybody make different sizes i'm going to go into the prep i'm going to make a little prep message and i'll email everybody about this too um i encourage you to make any size you want i would just like you to have multiple pieces going because some will be drying and then you can work on more so it's whatever space you have and yes this is what i want to show you you can have whatever space you have but i would suggest you work on multiples okay guys this is really what this is the main what do you call it see how darn i am this is the main showcase <laughs> that's not what i'm looking for of our live today look at this guy all right this is one stem. It's a protease and it came with the eucalyptus leaves and this is one stem from Trader Joe's. It has lasted two, two weeks. Look at this thing. Is that amazing? I know I showed it to somebody or some, some live either on Facebook. I can't even believe it and it's super hard for me to cut. Like I cut, I like to cut the stems every couple days it's really hard. It's very thick. It's like a tree. But I want you to see if you guys have a Trader Joe's by you and they are selling this, it is worth it. It's one stem and it is so gorgeous. I am trying to figure out how I can propagate these things because to buy one plant that's small like this is $79. Okay, so the plant is about this size. <laughs> And um, I've tried to grow, they do grow in my area really well, um, but they, here I'm gonna put it right here so we can all enjoy it. Um, they do grow in my area really well. I just have a hard time growing them and I don't know why. It's probably a special touch that I don't have. But when you, when you look at this plant, I just see so many possibilities for shapes and designs. And that's what I want you to start paying attention, paying attention to. Um, Okay, there's one other thing I wanted to chat about before, before I need to hit the beach. Somebody mentioned it, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name because it was a quick flash of a comment, but it was so important. So yesterday I was talking about um, when you have some creative blocks and one of you guys commented that sometimes too, a block can happen once you've finished a piece of art. And then you kind of are not too sure feeling like how to get to the next piece of art. And I totally related to this thing because like sometimes you can work weeks and weeks on one painting and then it's finished. And then it's like, oh, now what? And there is this, this block. There is this time to almost go to do something else and then come back. Um, and it reminded me, the comment reminded me of reading books. I just finished a fabulous book. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's called The Women and it's by Kristen Hanna. And she's one of my favorite authors. She wrote Nightingale, um, Four Winds, The Great Alone. Um, there's a whole bunch of books, other books that I read from hers too. She is one of my favorite author, authors. So she came up with this book um, this year called The Women and it's based on Vietnam and it's a Fabulous story. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. I listen to it as I paint. And the narrator is one of my favorites, Kristen Hanna. 
always uses the same narrator to do all her books and she is unbelievable unbelievably amazing okay so my point is though that i have finished the book a month ago i think three weeks ago and i still can't pick up another book it's the same thing sometimes when you're painting art it's that you put in so much time and effort and energy into creating your creation and then you need the downtime before you can start something new and get inspired and that's when it helps to go in nature, take walks, rest, um, doodle in a sketchbook, doodle in something really small so it doesn't really mean anything, and just kind of almost try a different medium or do another hobby that you love to do that's creative, that's not really connected to either acrylics or watercolors or something you've been doing. I thought it was such a great comment and it's so, so true. And it happens to me that I'll finish a big, either a commission or a painting or a project even. And I was like, oh, um, when I'm done with my live workshops, it's like, it takes me about a whole entire day just to kind of zone out and just kind of collect all that energy that you use when you're doing that. Um, so I thought it was a great comment. So thank you, whoever wrote that. It's so true. So when you go through finishing one big project before you jump into the next big project, um, maybe it's just uh, trying a little bit of a different thing or just having a little break and, and going into nature and laying down in the sand, which hopefully I'll be walking and not laying down. Anyway, um, okay, you guys, I am so sorry. I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> Malachite, that is such a better word than malachite because <laughs> shite in other countries is S-H-I-T. You know that, right? So... <laughs> All right, you guys, I will be chatting with you all tomorrow. And for anybody who is taking the workshop with me on Saturday, I will send out a little prep video and I, or not video, don't hold me to a video, but um, prep email. But I highly encourage you to have different sizes if you'd like, because Jill, yes, you can paint big. This is, came, where did this guy come from? I think, what does it look like? 10 by 10, something like that, maybe bigger, 12 by 12. And again, you know, when you're painting in a bigger size, when you're finished, I really want you to look around it. There's so many cool little tiny sections that maybe I'll just cut up, but I probably won't cut it up until after the class because um, I really like it. Anyway, all right, guys, I will see you later. I'm going to get some energy and I will be all energized for tomorrow. Okay, you guys have a good night. Bye.